Hello, my dear friends. This tutorial video is about genetic algorithm and its aspects in research. Now, uh, genetic algorithms ready-made tool is available in MATLAB. This is MATLAB 7.10. Now we will go to and open the MATLAB uh, in the genetic toolbox option. So go in toolbox, toolbox, and then go in more. Then go into the optimization, open optimization tool. Here, as you can see, there are a lot of options. If you open in your computer, there might be some other option open up. So, uh, so change it to genetic algorithm. Now, genetic algorithm is now open. Um, it is divided into two parts. Uh, one is the problem setup. Second is the option setup. So in the problem setup, we define the fitness function, the number of variables, the bounds if necessary. And then the value, we have the values, the final points over here the objective function here over here so uh, let's see what is the fitness function first a fitness function is the equation that we need to optimize it can be one variable two variable three variable and go up to n variables so this is my fitness function in which I have this equation w1 and w2 are my variables see how it is written w w1 w2 if it is in x then x1 and x2 make sure this green box is being displayed if it is red that comes up when i don't have any i have a I have a wrong equation then it becomes red so make sure it is green because unless and until it is not green your genetic algorithm will not work so this is my fitness function to make this fitness function you have to make an equation algorithm uh, equation algorithm is nothing but the fitting of different equation to form a big equation uh, in this process, the equation algorithm helps you to also form this Excel sheet. Genetic algorithm is, is nothing up without Excel. You need Excel to do the calculation part. As you can see, I will enter the values of W1 and W2 for the initial va values of lambda, mu, mf, mr, c1, c0, and whatnot. So uh, then I found uh, then I found uh, find the next solution of uh, lambda, mu, and then for those value I find these. So this little uh, it is a dynamic calculation now uh, moving ahead uh, I have uh, named this uh, fitness function as simple now I will go and write at the rate simple uh, it is a true make sure the spellings are right because if it is not then the file will not be taken up by the genetic algorithm the two uh, uh, variable now the lower bounds uh, please note how the lower bounds are written if it is a single uh, single uh, variable problem then we write it the value uh, write the value between the square brackets if it is not then we uh, make a space and write the other variable in the square bracket similarly I have done over here over one now uh, in the option setup you can change uh, the population type or the population size the initial populations and different values uh, I will uh, choose here fifth, uh, I will choose the value of 10 uh, generations so the time is less in evaluating them so now I will run the GA the GA value comes to be 0 0.996 I will copy these values for the given set and paste them over here so uh, what it will do is that it will vary the further values and I can use the further obtained values at the uh, t equal to 1 to obtain t equal to 2 this is the dynamic nature of genetic algorithm so in last I just want to uh, give some uh, some tips to you guys make sure that the file names are correct make sure that the fitness function is in place and you have obtained the equation algorithm and prepared the excel sheet with formulas and in the end make sure that you carry out the GA a lot of many times because it is not it doesn't give 100% accuracy so you have to uh, optimize the same equation two or three times thank you for seeing this video please subscribe to our channel